Hello and welcome friends. Now we are going to see involute of a circle. So basically involute is a type of curve when we are trying to wound a thread or string tightly on the circumference of a circle or you can say perimeter of any polygon. That time the curve traced out by any point on the string that curve would be called as a involute. In today's example, we will see how to draw a nullute of a circle. Now as per the given problem, we have been asked to draw a nullute of a circle of 40 mm diameter. So we will start with drawing a circle of 40 mm diameter first. Now it's time to divide the circle into equal number of parts. We will divide this circle into 8 number of equal parts. So we will start with the vertical line, then horizontal line and then by using angle bisector or by protractor we can draw 45 degree lines on both sides. So ultimately this circle will get divided into 8 equal parts. You can name these points from 1 to 8 on this respective point on the circumference of a circle. Now as I told you when we are going to draw envelope of a circle we need one thread or string whose length would be exactly equal to what the circumference of circle. So we will draw here the thread length AB <coughs> which will be having the same length as that of what the circumference of a circle that is pi D. Now as we divided this circle into 8 number of equal parts, we will be dividing the circumference length that is thread length into 8 equal parts as well. And we will name these points from 1 to 8 only. Now the way you are going to wound this thread along the circumference of a circle the point A is held fixed at point 8 and B is trying to rotate on the circumference of a circle keeping string tight. Each one division on the circumference of a circle will be exactly equal to one division on the thread length. So whenever we are trying to rotate or whenever we are trying to wound this thread along the circumference of a circle the point 1 on thread will overlap with point 1 on the circumference of a circle. We will draw the tangent lines to the circles at these respective points. So at point 1 we will draw the tangent line that will be perpendicular to diameter line at point 1. Similarly we will draw the tangent line at point 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Once we draw the tangent lines, now as I told you, point 1 on thread will overlap exactly on point 1 on circle. So whenever point 1 will overlap with point 1, means point 1 on thread will overlap with point 1 on circumference, the remaining length of the thread would be exactly equal to what 1 to point B. So in the compass, we will take distance 1 to B and that distance we are going to mark from point 1 on this tangent line so we get point so we will see this step by step on thread length 1 to b we will take this distance in compass and this distance we are going to cut an arc from point 1 on circumference or its tangent only so we get point b1 so later on when point 2 will overlap with point 2 on the circumference of a circle so the remaining length on this tangent would be exactly equal to point 2 to point B on this thread length. So in the compass we will take this point 2 to B distance as an arc and this distance will cut an arc from point 2 on this tangent line itself. So we will take center point as 2 and we will cut this 2 to B2 we get point B2. Like that only we will take 3 to point B as a distance in compass and this distance we are going to cut from point 3 on the circle or its tangent line. So we get point B3. Then 4 to B 
that distance we are going to cut from point 4 on circle on its tangent line we get B4. Continue this process till you get B5, B6, B7 and last B8. Once you get all these points, now it's time to draw a smooth curve passing through all these points. To draw this curve, either you can start from point B to B1, B1 to B2 in this order or you can go in reverse order also like B8 to B7 and B7 to B6 and so on. As this curve is called involute of a circle. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw involute of a circle. Thank you.